This is what a red alert for smog looks like in Beijing. The haze is so thick that the buildings over there are barely visible. Most people are not outdoors, and if they are, many of them are wearing masks. The pollution level right now is 12 times what the WHO considers unhealthy. This is the first time that the government has issued its highest alert for an emergency response system that it put in place two years ago. And what that means is that it's cutting a lot of different types of activity in the city, like construction. Normally, that construction site would be very busy. Also, the government is shutting thousands of factories around the area, and it's also restricting traffic. Even the Beijing mayor himself has gone out on the streets to literally stop cars that shouldn't be on the road. The World Bank estimates that there's a cost to all of this air and water pollution, the equivalent of 6% of China's GDP. The American Chamber of Commerce has also said that now more than half of the international companies that it surveyed has said that it's become very difficult to recruit senior management because of the bad air. The tourism industry is also taking a hit because people don't want to come here for their vacations. For those of us who are already here, we should be getting a reprieve soon. The air is supposed to clear by Thursday at noon. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eunice Yoon in Beijing. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.